John Black is the first person, the first black person, the first black African person who we have an image and a record of in British history. He actually existed, a real person. There's a record, he's paid wages, petitioned for a wage increase, the king gave him a, a wedding present. So we know a little bit about him and we have two very special images of him. So that's why he's a special part of British, black British history. As part of the exhibition, The Tudors, Passion, Power and Politics, uh, we've worked closely with the John Blank Project to examine the life and also the legacy of John Blank and his ongoing significance. He appears twice in the Westminster tournament role, an extraordinary document, a 60-foot scroll celebrating a joust that Henry VIII called to celebrate the birth of his son on New Year's Day to Catherine of Aragon. The Westminster tournament role is a 1511 document and it was made to document the great tournament of Westminster and this was an extraordinary lavish event. It included music, banqueting, pageantry, and of course, jousting. And these are some of the activities that we can see taking place on the tournament roll. As we move along the roll, we'll see nearby a procession of court trumpeters. If we look at this group of trumpeters, we can see that they almost look identical to one another, uh, but one of them is quite distinctive. That's one of the extraordinary things about the tournament role. We can see that there's been an effort made to make John Blank distinctive from the other trumpeters. So we can see that he has a dark complexion and he's also dressed differently. He's wearing a green turban with this yellow and gold lattice pattern on it. John Blank actually appears twice on the tournament role as part of the opening procession and also as part of the closing ceremony. These images are really significant because they're some of the earliest known images that we have of a named person of African descent living in England. It's hugely important at this particular time um, for young people, for all people to understand that we were here as a black community um, very early on and this is actual proof. The John Blank project is an art and archive project. It celebrates his presence in British history as a real person. So I work with artists to reimagine John Blank. And I also work with historians to, to flesh out that there is his story from the little that we know. He has to say he appears in the record fleetingly, maybe six or seven times. But in terms of where did his name come from? When did he come here? Who could he have married? How would he be accepted in society? I get historians to write about him. So we have a, a much more holistic, a much more rounded image of him rather than just those two images and those fleeting records. So the project celebrates them as a real person so that you can imagine a Black Tudor actually existed. John Blank is significant also because he really provides a glimpse, just a snapshot of the wider diversity of Tudor society. We know now, based on the work that's been undertaken by historians over the past number of years, Tudor society was much more ethnically diverse than was previously assumed. Here we have evidence, real evidence, and artists and historians that create an image bigger than just those two images and those fleeting records. And that's the project, that's what they're about, celebrating John Blank, imagining the Black Tudor trumpeter. He is the first person that we have a record of and an image of. And um, I was inspired to create a, what I imagined him to be. To have so many people with their interpretations is um, a, a very important thing.